Hey team, welcome back to the channel. As always, man, I'm stoked to see you. So I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked about this. This is the Light Fighter 2, uh, two-man tent as it would be. That's, that's what the two is there for. So we're gonna get this thing set up. We're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons that exist with this tent and why it may be something that you wanna add into your kit bag. All right, so here it is all bagged up. We're gonna get this thing unpacked and get it set up and I'll give you a walkthrough of what this thing looks like, how it feels, how spacious it is, and all the pros, all the things that I, I like about this thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, look, although this thing is by Light Fighter, right? Uh, which, by the way, is an American-owned and operated company who's like almost entirely uh, employed by vets so that's pretty stinking awesome but they didn't pay me for this this is just my own review i wanted to give you my own two thoughts my own two cents it's not sponsored or endorsed by light fighter but light fighter check this out brothers and sisters man if you're looking for somebody to check out some of your gear and give some quality reviews man hook me up man i got you right and it's six pounds it's not ultra light right it's by no means ultra light if that's what you're looking for but if you're looking for a solid, rugged expedition, two-person, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, a two-man tent. Can I, can I say that, friends? Is that, is that okay between you and I? Can I say two-man and mean actually two people? It's a two-person, it's a two-man tent. I mean, come on. It's perfect for getting out into the woods and enjoying what God has given us. All the material is solid. You're gonna see that as we're going through. If you have any comments, make sure you leave some down below. And that way we can continue to, to keep this conversation rolling and continue to learn from each other. Hey, if you if this is what you're all into, right, which is what this channel is about. It's about field craft, about gear reviews, about talking about things that matter. If that's what you're into as well, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on some future content. Now listen to me, friends. I know a lot of my subscribers have said, Stoke, man, I'm not getting notifications. So if that happens to apply to yourself, make sure you go into your settings and double check that you have all notifications uh, clicked on. And that way, every time I drop a new vid, which is about once or twice a week, you'll, you'll uh, get your notification. Right, let's get this thing set up. Hey team, gonna take a short pause and remind you to check down in the description below for a link to any of the gear seen in the video as well as over a dozen lists on my Amazon Influencer page to help you organize and harden your kit. Back to the content. Right, so doing some PCCs on this thing before we actually get started. A little equipment layout, if you will, of everything that you get inside the bag. Of course, we have the bag itself. We have a ground cloth. We have all our uh, pole system with a bag that it goes in. We have a bag for our tent pegs, uh, and uh, which are six of them, plus a repair kit and guidelines. We have a rain fly and we have our tarp, or our tent itself. Pet like reflex. this uh, configuration you gotta get your pt on boys and girls uh we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at how this thing is set up just as is because it has some good stuff going on right now and so we're gonna take a short pause and look at all the things that's going on underneath the rain fly so you can check this bad boy out we can see we got 100 percent mosquito netting all the way around right all the way around I do like the poles, uh, they're fiberglass, uh, and the, the clips here seem pretty durable and solid with some good denier uh, strength on it. Right, and so these clips, I think they did a really good job designing them because again, you do have some good material and you can see it's double stitched here and all, all the seams are, are tape sealed. But you're not trying to clip something around the pole. It's just all built into the, in, into the design here, right? Boom, money in the stinking bank. Bam. Doing a quick 360. See, we got a door on both sides and we'll take a better look at those doors here in just a second once we get inside. You can see the tub, right? So the tub is 360 degrees and it comes up about eight inches. You can see just how big this tent is. We'll get inside so you can, you can really feel it. Super easy to get set up to this point. Even a caveman can do it. 
Get the ground cloth underneath it. I don't know if you notice that. But we do have a ground cloth and we'll finish getting this set up after we had the rain fly up. But this will just hook over and underneath the poles here. But that's, that's a good tent saver, having that. Time to use a rock or something. All right, so now we got this thing fully erected here. Six stakes in the ground. Got two doors, one on the front, and you guessed it, one on the back. A little closer look at how this assembly works in here. All right, seems, I, I, I'm digging the quality of this as opposed to what we used to see, you know, 10, 15 years ago in some of the commercial off the shelf type configurations i'm gonna pop this stake out so you can see the quality of the stake that comes with it it's pretty decent right it's not just some cheap flimsy plastic it's three-way should be able to provide some good bite into the ground good surface area to strike on with a rock or something all right then we got some easy to open doors with a little bit of velcro uh, to help the closing you can see over the zipper we have a little rain fly on top of that as well Open this bad boy up halfway. And then boom. Uh, in and out of the rain, man. This thing is awesome. You know, back in the day, uh, of course, we used to have a shelter half, right? Where each dude had half of a tent. And of course, this thing is going to fit two dudes. So you'd have to kind of figure out, you know, if you were issued something like this, how you wanted to handle this, or if you're going out by your own. But truth be told, I think this is a better one-man tent plus all the gear and things that you want to keep uh, enclosed inside the tent. Uh, I think retail this thing runs for about 400 bucks, uh, which is fairly comparable to what you're going to see on the market, whether you're looking at a big box store. Or an REI or whatever the case is, right? There's a couple different configurations that you can set up with this tent. And we'll, we'll come inside and uh, check out the interior uh, here in just a second. But, you know, we, you did see we had it without the rain fly. So if you're camping out maybe in the summer and you, maybe you're in the southeast, you're not expecting any rainfall, right? You could set this thing up without the rain fly and have a really open, breathable tent. And I think that answers the way that this tent is set up. It answers a lot of the big complaints that we used to have about some of the, uh, of the tents that were coming onto the market, right? We have no way to control airflow. Whereas you can see on this one right now, man, I got, I got doors open on both sides. 100% airflow is, is coming through right now. So on a decent day, this, this configuration is going to be great. But also, the other thing I love about this thing is I do have a ground cloth that comes with this particular model. I think on their on their one man tent, yet uh, it, it's an add on. But here I do have a ground cloth to help protect the tent itself, right? So I can set it up with just the tent and the rain fly as for a quick hooch type setup, right? Not worried about the mosquitoes getting you, man. We lived long enough where we didn't have to worry about uh, all these niceties that we have these days. So I can set up a quick hooch setup with just a ground cloth and my poncho, or in this case, my rain fly, and call it good to go. All right, so share some thoughts down in the comments below about what you think of this particular tent and the setup. All right, this will give you a, a feel for what it's like on the inside as far as the light data, you know, that's coming in. Right now I have this back door closed, front door is kind of open with the screen netting all around, all behind me. And I'm sitting on my butt and you can see just, just how much room I have up here by my head, almost, almost eight inches. And I'm, you know, I'm almost six foot. Almost six foot. I'm gonna lay down here. Uh, my feet are touching the sides there. Lay back. See, this could fit every bit of somebody as, as big as, you know, may, maybe six four. Should have absolutely no problems. No problems in getting in this thing. Again, you know, the tub floors is one of the things that I love about this thing because it's uh, every bit six, seven, eight inches. You know, <laughs> depending on who's measuring. Um, 
I mean, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Mosquito netting all the way around, a good hot muggy night. You could just take off the rain fly if you weren't expecting rain, have all kinds of airflow coming in and around and through this thing. This is a great two man tent, but even more so as you can see, let's see if I can do this. I'm all the way up against, right? All the way up against shoulders here. I'm gonna stretch my arm out so you can get a feel for just how big this tent is all the way out past my fingertips is how big this tent is so yes you could fit two two dudes in here or you could fit yourself your dog and all your all your gear right it's absolutely phenomenal man Th this tent this tent is the shizzle as we used to say as i still say because i just said it it's the shizzle i mean come on now Looking for a quick place to, to stash some of your goodies, right? You got a couple of pockets on all the corners here, right? Pocket here, pocket here. Of course, the same is true behind us. And then coming up the side, you have some hooks, uh, some loops that are kind of sewn in that you could hang some light things. Like maybe it is just a, a headband light that you want so that you can have some light on the inside of your tent. All right, so there's a vestibule on both sides. Again, right, we have a door on both sides. And so this, that open area is called a vestibule. If you had some wet gear that you needed to store that you didn't want to intentionally bring inside the tent, of course you can place it down there. Gives you roughly 10 square feet on, on each side. So that's about 20 feet. Another cool thing about this particular model of a tent is our zipper pull openings. You can see how easy that opens up, but we can open them up on uh, on both sides. So you get the entire door open, right? And the entire door is open. I'm just hanging loose there, right? So that's pretty cool. Boom. Now, all right, friends, let me know what you think about this tent and the setups that you got down in the comments below. We'll just keep this conversation rolling. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And uh, if you want to stay up to date on some future content, again, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on some future content. And as always, until then, you stay stoked.